Hi, Gemini. You need to know this right now for September the 5th through September the 6th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Gemini for September the 5th through September the 6th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Gemini for September the 5th through September the 6th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Gemini for September the 5th through September the 6th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. Gemini, you need to repent and get your life together. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Gemini, these are your cards, honey. Gemini, you have the Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is balance, equality, reciprocity, equal give and take. This is matching the efforts, energy, time, love, patience, resources, and responsibilities in a relationship. This is balance, but this can also speak to the merchant giving to two, being generous and giving to two. This is also a payout card, a gifting someone card, assisting someone card. So listen, Gemini, you can tell me that something is off balance here. Something could be off balance with the giving and receiving. You may be giving something here, receiving something here, or you're telling me that someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two. Clarify the Six of Pentacles. For Gemini, clarify the Six of Pentacles. For Gemini, clarify the Six of Pentacles. For Gemini, it is clarified with the Six of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your attention or you're beginning to recognize something or you're getting attention and recognition. So listen, Gemini, they could be getting your attention. You could be getting their attention. You can tell me that something is being brought to your attention. You're beginning to recognize something here. Or this is an announcement being made. Now, Gemini, they could be getting your attention and wanting to give you something here. Or ready to give to the relationship. You could be getting their attention and wanting to give to the relationship. Or give them a token of love. You could also tell me that something is being brought to your attention concerning someone shortchanging you. Or is being brought to someone's attention that someone was giving more somewhere else giving to two. Gemini, you have the four of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. There's an offer on the table that you're not accepting or rejecting. You're contemplating this offer. But actually, you're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of you contemplating sending an offer. But you have this fear it won't be accepted. So Gemini, very well could be an offer coming into you that you're thinking about missing. However, you could be contemplating sending an offer. You just have this fear it won't be accepted. Clarify the Four of Cups. For Gemini, clarify the Four of Cups. For Gemini, clarify the Four of Cups. For Gemini, it is clarified with the moon. Could be dealing with a Pisces. But the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but you can tell me that you're in the dark concerning something. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or there's a secret. Clarify the moon. For Gemini, clarify the moon. For Gemini, clarify the moon. For Gemini, it is clarified with the Six of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past, flashback from the past, full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. 
Now, you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So listen, Gemini, you can tell me that you're having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with this person from your past. You can tell me that someone from their past is in the picture. Someone from your past is in the picture. Something from the past is being brought back up here. Or this involves children. Now listen, Gemini, you can tell me that they're wanting to give something to you. They're wanting to reunite with you. But you feel like you don't want the offer. And it could be over something that happened in the past. You know, maybe some type of secret coming out about something that happened in the past. Could also be that there was a secret that came out concerning someone from their past being in the picture. So you don't want this offer. You could also tell me that maybe you're thinking about missing this offer that you should just leave the past in the past. You could also tell me that this someone who's getting your attention is someone from your past and you're thinking that... No, I don't think I should go back there. Gemini, you have the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family. Someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their charts. However, when we're dealing with the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. Queen of Pentacles is a nurturing, mothering energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Gemini. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. For Gemini, clarify the Queen of Pentacles. For Gemini, it is clarified with the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately. Rushing in with the spark of a new idea. Rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication. Exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So listen, Gemini, you can tell me that there is a rush to do something. Could be a rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Gemini. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Gemini. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Gemini. It is clarified with the Five of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is conflict. This is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama. But this can also speak to you being conflicted within about something. So listen, Gemini, you can tell me that you're conflicted within about something or some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, drama has taken place here. Now, Gemini, you can tell me that this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, this spouse, this parent of your child, very well could be trying to rush you. And you're conflicted with them about it. You know, maybe having to use your intuition, thinking about it. You could also tell me that dealing with this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, this spouse, this parent of your child, maybe someone you work with or do business with. You guys had this rushing in, going off, going ham, passionately with a heated discussion or argument. You could also tell me that they were out being a player. They brought competition in the picture here. So it's like maybe you don't want anything that they're trying to offer now. Could also tell me that you recognize the fact that they were giving more somewhere else, giving to two. Gemini, you have the Ace of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory. But this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. So, Gemini, you can tell me that you guys are having this communication. You can tell me that you've come into some truth and clarity. You can tell me that you're making a decision or you're using a sword to sever. Clarify the Ace of Swords for Gemini. Clarify the Ace of Swords for Gemini. Clarify the Ace of Swords for Gemini. It is clarified with the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 
This king is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in an institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. This could be a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their chart. However, when we're dealing with the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. King of Pentacles is a nurturing father figure, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with, or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Gemini. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Gemini. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Gemini. Gemini, you're at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the Knight of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to apologize, to offer their cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. May even be coming in with a romantic gesture here. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Gemini. Clarify the Knight of Cups. For Gemini, clarify the Knight of Cups. For Gemini, it is clarified with the Magician. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And you have all the tools and resources available to you to manifest whatsoever you will. You have the air element, the fire element, the water element, the earth element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, you can manifest. So Gemini could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to make something happen here. Clarify the magician. For Gemini, clarify the magician. For Gemini, clarify the magician. For Gemini, it is clarified with the Seven of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you waiting. And in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted. Looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far. Trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest. Whether you want to reinvest. You're taking stock of you guys' relationship. Assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account. Looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest. Could be waiting on money. So Gemini, you could be waiting on money, looking at your coins, looking at your bank account. You can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that you're waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Now listen, Gemini, I feel like you're waiting to make a decision here. Because they very well could be coming and trying to apologize, but not just that. They could be coming in with some type of an announcement here, wanting to give you bling bling shiny thing here. And I feel like the reason why you're hesitant and waiting to make a decision is because something happened in the past. Or someone from their past was in the picture at one point. <clears throat> So this makes you conflicted with then about rushing into something with this person. So I feel like you're waiting to make a decision. Gemini, you have the hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo. But right now you're taking some time out to be alone, to do some soul searching, introspection. Searching your inner man for wisdom and guidance. Going within, looking for answers. Could be dealing with a Virgo. But you can tell me that, hey, I just need some me time. You can tell me that you're doing some heavy duty soul searching or you went on a solo search looking for something. Clarify the hermit for Gemini. Clarify the hermit for Gemini. Clarify the hermit for Gemini. It is clarified with the seven of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options. But all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions, but having many options. So listen, Gemini, you can tell me that you're all up in your head fantasizing. You can tell me that there's some confusion. You can tell me that you need to make a choice. You can tell me that there was lies and illusions or the fact that someone had other options and explored some of those other options. 
Now, Gemini, listen, you can tell me that you are doing some soul searching. Maybe you're fantasizing because it could very well be coming in with some type of proposal here. You could also tell me that you're doing some heavy-duty soul searching because you're confused, you're conflicted within on what you should do. You could also tell me that you're doing some heavy-duty soul searching because you need to make a choice or a decision. You could also tell me that what's heavy on your mind is the fact that there's been lies and illusions or the fact that they had other options and it could have been something that happened in the past and it seems like you can't get past that going forward right now at least. I'm going to take a look at the Twin Flames Exposed for you and your partner, Gemini. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. And it says, I regret my actions. You just don't know how much I'm hurting for ruining our relationship. I regret my actions. You just don't know how much I'm hurting for ruining our relationship. I'm going to also take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you and your partner, Gemini. And it says, I feel you leaving me behind. I feel you leaving me behind. Gemini, you need to know this right now for September the 5th through September the 6th, 2024. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.